Thank you, Angela. Dozens of protesters carried a giant statue in the likeness of Attorney General Jeff Sessions today. These images from the nation's capital. Yeah, these people are protesting the president's decision to end the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals Program, otherwise known as DACA. All of this coming as 15 states, along with Washington, D.C., sue the Trump administration over that decision. Here in Indiana, Purdue University has the second largest population of international students in the nation. So we sent our Rich Nye there to campus to learn what they think about the decision so far. More than 9,000 students, about a quarter of Purdue's enrollment this fall, are international students. Many students born in other countries have lived in the United States now for years, but their ability to study and live here could be in jeopardy. Diversity is obvious on the Purdue campus on a beautiful fall-like afternoon with students from 127 countries. Some are so-called dreamers, child immigrants to the U.S. Like Akanksha Gavayar moved to New Jersey with her family from India four years ago. It is achieving my own goals as well as like my family's dreams of becoming um, an engineer. And I feel like being in America and um, studying in one of the best universities in the country is what it means to me to be a dreamer. But Akanksha and students like her could face deportation with DACA being phased out. Purdue President Mitch Daniels reiterated his support for DACA and called on Congress to pass permanent legislation. We have um, young people whom have been raised here on American soil, whom have uh, participated in our education system to date, uh, whom have contributed uh, to our, our country, our world, our society as we know it and uh, they're just looking for additional opportunities. If this threatens my um, status here and like my, my ability to study here, this is something that really concerns me because I need to think about what I would do if I had to be sent back to India and where I would go for college. Priyanka Court Paliker is a U.S. citizen but was born in India. Just because I wasn't born in the U.S., I don't think that means that I'm any less of a U.S. citizen because I've lived here my whole life. I went to school in the U.S., I'm going to college in the U.S., and I want to work in the U.S. And I'm sure there's many people who are affected by DACA who, who feel the same way. President Trump has given Congress six months to come up with a permanent legal solution. In West Lafayette, I'm Rich Nye, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. Now, the Trump administration says it will phase out DACA in a way that will provide minimum disruption. So. What exactly does that mean, and what are they planning to do? According to the White House, work permits issued under DACA will be honored until they expire. New DACA applications already received by Tuesday will then be processed. Anyone whose status is set to expire by, by March 5, 2018, has one month to apply for a new two-year permit. Those renewal applications will then be processed.